Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolendo TV. I hope you're well from whatever you watch this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. I want to take you to a tweet that was shared by Aaron Cheriot who responded to the incidents that is going on in Uganda. And you understand that the World Bank declined to give a Uganda loan over the fact that they implemented the punitive law uh, discouraging LGBTQ uh, practice in Uganda. So as a result, uh, World Bank decided to stop any further loaning to Uganda. So what happened thereafter was that Museveni wrote a letter, a disturbing letter to to to, to, to the World Bank, and also telling uh, the Ugandans that we they are they are doing well without the loans. So Aaron Chariot wrote a tweet that was supporting what the Parliament did, telling the Parliament that it's supposed to be independent like it is. So there's a tweet that Aaron Chariot wrote as a result of that incident in Uganda. So we want us to go through that tweet. And then this tweet has a couple of tweet backlashes, whereby Professor, Professor Makao Mutua also responded to it and a couple of other uh, Twitter respondents. So we will go straight to what Aaron Chariot said. Parliaments are voices of the people. They must legislate without undue influence from any quarters. Otherwise, it amounts to dilution of sovereignty. I stand with the Parliament of Uganda. World Bank should not intimidate them to each their own. That's democracy. Respect it. So that's what Aaron Chariot wrote in his Twitter handle. I know what you want to say, but just hold on. Just hold your horses. I want us to go to what Professor Macomb Tua said. First of all, I know what you what you're thinking right now because Aaron Chiori is talking about a parliament of Uganda, saying that it's a voice of the people. I know you're asking yourself, why can't he tell uh, Ruto here in Kenya that a parliament of Kenya is the voice of the people? Just hold your horses. So let's go to the response from uh, Macomb Tua. So let me take you through uh, responses, you know, uh, responses from uh, uh, from uh, one Paul Onama. Paul Onama says, what a paradox. When you guys have allowed Nabi to auction Kenya to World Bank sister called IMF, are you not Kenya's Senate majority leader busy legislating and supporting IMF's unfriendly policies? Majabu. That is what Paul Onama said. Then there's another one by the name Vikmas Sankara. Vikmas Sankara says, Mnaongea apa and yourselves force the punitive finance bill on Kenyans to please your masters in Washington. Who doesn't know how IMF controls our government? Hypocrites. That's what Vikmas Sankara said. Then there is one by the name Authentic. Authentic says, Uganda isn't a democratic nation. What are you talking about? I mean, okay. Thug says, double speak. If there is anything KK, there is a, a Twitter handle by the name Chief. I mean, Chief. Chief says, but Ruto intimidated our own parliament here in Kenya to pass the finance bill 2023. Did the Kenya parliamentarians act on behalf of the people's voice? Mnaonaga watu wakiwa wajinga bwana esh. So, Aaron Chariot tweet was received with a lot of backlash. And I've read those tweet responses to what Aaron Chariot wrote when he tried to, when he attempted to support the, the parliament of Uganda for being the voice of the people. Okay, it is the voice of the people. 
But what about Kenya? So that all the responses there, the, the people that have read uh, their, their tweets, uh, the Twitter responses to Aaron Chariot, all of them are talking about what about Kenya? Of course, Aaron Chariot being the majority leader of, uh, in uh, the Senate talks about parliament being the voice of the people. But then in Kenya, it is the opposite of that. But that's not one thing that uh, we find strange. That is the way we've, these things have been happening. The people, these leaders in the parliament, they know very well that it's indeed the parliament is the voice of the people. But they choose to listen to their master. In fact, that is what uh, Chief said. Chief said, but through 20 minutes our own parliament here in Kenya to pass the finance bill 2023. Yes, they were told if you don't pass that finance bill, that is why you find that Omuchomba, when she decided to, to distance herself from uh, those people who wanted to pass the finance bill, Ali Anza Kutengwa. Kosababu, Ali Onekana Kwamba ye anapinga kile raisi anasema. Lakini, here comes a scenario where by now the government says that the people have a right to make decisions, have a right to make their own choices. But when you make your own choices, again, you are sidelined. So what we saw with Omuchomba, and Omuchomba being a UDA uh, 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 leader, there's a time there William Ruto chose to use that former leader instead of Omuchomba. And I remember Omuchomba coming publicly and saying that, Sasa mimi ndiyo kiongozi hapa, lakini mamlaka anapewa mwingina mboni li muangusha. So, that was a way of trying to sideline Wamuchomba. That is what I make of that move. So, Aaron Cherio's tweet, however good intentions he had with it, imepata backlash ya namna hiyo. So, I don't know, but the, the, the fact here is simple. You know, Mseveni could have said that no LGBTQ in Uganda. Because For uh, many months now, many in the international community are saying that by your signing of this bill, you're taking Uganda a step backwards, that you are not protecting the freedoms and the rights and the choices of the Ugandan people. So how do you respond to that? And specifically, uh, President Obama has said he, been, his, he was deeply disappointed by Uganda's move and says that it would complicate U.S.-Uganda relations. I've listened to everything uh, that you've said in the statement. So how would you respond to that? And do, 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 does it worry you? And have you spoken directly to President Obama about this? Well, we have been disappointed for a long time <laughs> by the conduct of the West, the way you conduct yourselves there. But we just keep quiet. We just see how you do things, how the, the, the families, how they are organized, the, the, you know, all these things. We see them, we keep quiet. We never comment because it's not our country. Maybe you like it. So, uh, since there is now an attempt at social imperialism, to, to impose social values of, of one group on our society, uh, then uh, our disappointment is now exacerbated because we, we, are, we are sorry to see that you live the way you live. <laughs> but we keep quiet about it. Now you say we must also live like us. Uh, we, 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 that's why we say no. We, we say no. And uh, am I worried? Not at all. We should be worried about what? Because to tango needs two people to dance. If the West doesn't want to work with us because of homosexuals, then uh, we, we have enough space here to live by ourselves and do business with other people. You wanted to preserve the culture of Ugandans. And the culture of Ugandans is going against LGBTQ. So here in Kenya, they allowed it. They allowed the registration of that group simply because they wanted loans. So IMF has promised them loans. So because IMF has promised them loans, IMF, deci IMF decided to deny Uganda loans. So... This is what we find a bit strange, you know, kutokana ile swala, a bit strange, kusababu, uh, 
shirika la IMF ambao ni sister ya World Bank inapeanaga loan kwa hizi inchi na unajua unajua hiyo historia tumeongea mambo mara nyingi about IMF in fact tuna time tulisema kwamba ukiona inchi ina supportiwa na IMF wanasema IMF wanasema kwamba mko sawa kabisa you should know that hiyo inchi wananchi wanalia wanalia sana sana kwa sababu vitu zimepandishwa bei all of these are meant to please the IMF people which is to the disadvantage of a common mwananchi so what is a common mwananchi left with nothing IMF praise our tax policies our economic policies IMF literally pre- praised everything about the finance bill which is now the finance act so they say that the finance act is okay kabisa na wameipenda but the Kenyans here are crying saying that punda amechoka mnatubebesha mizigo mingi but on this other side IMF is saying that ah hiyo iko sawa kabisa mumefanya sawa kabisa in fact we agree with you what are the kind of interest do IMF have in Kenya it is simple it's just that repayment of the loan wapate pesa nyingi because if you tax people pesa nyingi that means watapata pesa nyingi haraka haraka so the idea here is to collect more money from people give IMF the issue whereby Aaron Cheriot is bringing him on board saying that parliaments are voices of the people he hapa ndo kuna shida now he knows that parliaments are the voice of the people but what we see with Otangula Gladys Bosholoi what we see with with Kingi is totally opposite to what he's saying of course we believe that parliaments are the voices of the people but that is not the case here in Kenya because what you are seeing is a parliament that has been bought parliament that only makes decision that uh, the executive is happy about so parliament is working for the executive and not the people whereas the member parliaments who are there are elected by the people so parliament is supposed to represent the people and not the executive but what you're seeing with wetangula ni kitu tofauti kabisa na hiyo narrative kwamba parliament ni voice of the people Ladies and gentlemen, can you tell us below the comment section to think about this tweet from uh, Aaron Cheriot? Also, I would like to kindly request you if you are not subscribed to this channel to please consider supporting Yoleno TV by subscribing to it. Don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that every time we upload any video, you will always become the first person to get notified. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.